We can survive this, Bronwyn. There is a way. There must be. Can you tell us what's it like being back on set without Nazanin? Working with Nazanin was such a wonderful experience. I think we did such a incredible work together and we still have a wonderful friendship. So um, I feel like I have her blessing, you know, and I feel like I have her, her with me because I learned so much from her. Like, I just wish her this the best in her future, current and future endeavors. You were right to watch us because we are destined for the darkness. What can you tease that's coming up for your character? When the first season ended, uh, there was a lot of darkness that had set into Middle Earth. Sauron was there. So that darkness is there. We hit the ground running with how that spread through, through Middle Earth. And as we know, my character has all the feels, very brooding. So he's definitely, uh, that darkness has reached him in like, and, and the complexity of like those heavy emotions. And it's just grappling with all of that, how his world has completely changed. What's that like playing such broodiness, darkness? Does it take a toll on you? Absolutely. I love it though, because I think uh, a lot of times we represent characters a bit flat. And I think we all, most of us, identify with the villain a little bit more than we identify with the hero or the broken one. Or And I think, you know, out on there is a little broken and, and he has so much pain in certain things. So I really, I really do love uh, playing that. It is a little bit exhausting, you know, but on top of that, he's an elf. So I can't emote the same way as a yeah. human. That's the difficult okay. part. Just like trying to be restrained in that. But I've learned so much and I, I love, love, love my character. Yeah. So how will Nazanin's absence affect your storyline in particular? August 29th, the show premieres. Okay. <laughs>